Hey friends, today I'm going to be installing some uh, privacy film or s over these windows. So this is what it looks like before. And we are going to add um, some nice security film on there. So it gets, still allows the light to go through, but without people being able to see you. So let's get started. All right, friends, we're gonna need the following tools to install this dual fire uh, static clean glass film okay so what you need is a spray bottle with water um, pen piece of paper um, some kind of a device like a squeegee to get the water out scissors um, a razor and a measuring tape also some glass cleaner maybe some paper towels I already cleaned off my window. And so next we're gonna get our film out. So this is 17 inches long, 17.4 and 78 inches long. All right, it's a little bit a uh, little bit difficult to open up here. Okay, there we go. There's one end, so I find just kind of sticking a finger in there and then popping it out, hooking it in there. And then pull it out. That's the best way to do it. Okay, this is held on by this uh, cord. This uh, sticker over here is pretty tough. Okay, there's got to be a way to open this up here. It's easier, but perhaps not. This plastic is really quite durable. I'm going to try to perhaps get it started with some scissors. Maybe I can it up that way. Oh, okay. It's really giving me some trouble there. Don't want to damage the film underneath. Okay. What's that? Oh, it is really raining outside. Just kind of uh, hopefully work our way down there. All right, finally we got it out of there. You can see it's got this nice little design on here. Actually, kind of pretty. Some flowers and things like that. Okay. And then we have our instructions that it came with. So basically, like I said, wash the window, make sure it's nice and clean, measure your thing, peel it off, spray down it, and put it on the window, and then cut it off and squeegee it out. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do the little window side first. So it is, let's see, 6 inches by 19 and a half. So eight, these are 17 inches. So I'm gonna go six inches. That is 17 and a half. So I'm gonna try to go at six inches down. And 19 and a half inches across. So 19 and a half. It's going to get me to right about there. So I'm just going to cut that across. Actually, the other one's at 21 inches. So I'm just going to cut this whole length a little bit longer at about 21 inches. And that way I'll have enough room to go across. 
So if I start here, lock my tape measure in place there. I'm gonna go a little over 21, 21 and a quarter maybe. So we're at 21 and a quarter right there. And I can start cutting that. And we can just go across here if we can. Okay, so right about there. Should be good enough. And then we're gonna make sure that we are squared up so we have enough room here to go all the way across. All right, so we'll go a little bit over and then just go down the line here. well over 21. Next, this has to be at least six inches wide. So I'm gonna go with about seven inches. We'll just cut, we'll just cut down the middle here. So that's, we have seven, six inches, and the eight for the other ones. So uh, six, seven, eight. That gives plenty of room. We're just going to go at like seven inches down here. And try to keep it at seven inches. Should be enough there. So now we got our two um, strips. Our next process is to get the shorter one, get that longer one out of the way. And now I want to make sure this one fits. Okay, so are we long enough on that way? And we are good. Our measurements are good either way, so we're ready to go. On, we're gonna take the film off the back here. If we can, just kind of roll this off. You got this little tape on there, and kind of difficult, but once you get it going, it's you got it. So just use it to kind of peel. The other one off of there. So this is like one of the hardest parts is to get this get this peel going. It's really thin. But like I said, once you once you get it going, it'll start. Alright, so there we are, we have it. And it peels off of there nicely. It is quite staticky. And then we're just going to spray it down real good. The wetter, the better. Okay. Now we just put it up on our window. Okay. Now, next we put this up on the window and it overlapped quite a bit there. That's fine. And we want to get those bubbles out as much as possible. So starting from the top, just kind of work our way down. OK, 
Okay, so we got most of that out. And the tricky part now is just cutting this uh, to fit. So if you have a nice sharp uh, razor, generally you can just put it in there right along the window. Just cut right along the window, right, just like that. <laughs> Once again, just get it right along the edge of your window. And just cut right along the frame all the way down. I'll make sure that's cut all the way. Same thing in the corner, make sure it goes all the way to the corner. There we go, and then start right there in the corner. Or cut. All the way down. And you can, instead of cutting down towards the corners, you can cut towards, away from the corners, cut like towards the end. So that way you're going towards the corners. That helps to get them instead of pulling them in. There we go. Cut up to the corner. Cut that piece off. There we go. Okay, now I need to cut this one up towards my corner. There we go. That just kind of falls off. And we just take my thing, run it right along. I'm going to cut towards my corner here on this side. So put it right along the glass there. And we're cutting right. towards the corner. Okay, then we go back that way towards this corner. Once again, just cutting right along next to our frame. You can put that razor right, right on the glass. And there we go. Okay, we'll just take our little squeegee. Okay, we can just kind of smooth that out. Yeah, from those corners that we have. As we go around the edges there. All right, so like I said, there we have it. And then we have that nice Nice finish right there. Okay, that was pretty easy. Just remember when you're cutting the corners, guys, just take these, go towards the corners. Um, don't take it from the corner and go down, it tends to pull it. So just get from the corners and go up to the side, up to the edge of the corners both ways. So down towards it instead of to in from the corners in, you go from the inside out towards the corners. All right, let's get that other one on there, shall we? So for the next one, I just used uh, the tape that we had on the old one. I just put it on there and then you just peel off that plastic. Okay, next I spray down the static side. It's a lot of water, just make sure Nice and wet. Can't really get it too wet here. There we go. Okay, now that it's all sprayed down, make sure you get water um, all over on it. 
you can see it's pretty much just coated with water there. All right. Next step is simply place this on our window that's been previously And we're going to just actually overlap it a little bit so we can cut right along our cut along our edges here. Okay, so there we are. So just wipe those, wipe the water right out of there. Kind of just holds it next to the next to the window. So we want to get it as close as possible. I just use a little plastic. Uh, you need a credit card, whatever you want, something that's flat and firm. Okay, same thing here. Gotta get our blade out as far as possible, and then we're just gonna cut right on the glass there so it's difficult to see but i'm trying to put it right you put it on the it's cutting on the glass and it's right next to the frame there okay here we go i'm going to just try to start in this corner here if i can and you want to do it in one nice uh, continuous uh, cut if we can here towards the corner there and the corners are the hardest part for sure okay there we go can one continuous cut this can be a little tricky but just be patient and it should pay off nicely. All right, we're going to go up towards that. These uh, extra lines in there are a little, a little tight to get through, but we'll get through them. There's that. And we'll probably just have our corner left here. So, like I said, the corners are the hardest part to get. Once you get them, though, good to go. All right. Should be pretty close on the corner there. I got my side off. And now I can just. Turn that one off. Okay, that's pretty good there. Now this just usually just falls off. Nicely done. I just want to take that over to the corner right here. If we can. Maybe even use our little To hold it in place there's the cut away like I said the corners are the most difficult parts all right so now that we got that there we'll try to hold that in place and just go down the edge here with our Razor, okay. Let's see how most of that's gone right like that. And then we just have the corners over here. And then we'll be good to go. This one just needs to go down. 
It's a little bit di uh, more difficult because of the lip here is wider. So this one is easier uh, because the lip wasn't as as high there. So it's a little bit more difficult to do this, but not impossible. And just have a little bit of patience, and it has a nice outcome. So. Still need to cut down that. Okay. We almost got that corner cut out. There we go. All right. Now we're rocking. And you can almost just put this right along the edge too and slide that in between where you're straight edges and where the razor is just kind of slide that in and you can cut that kind of hold it in place and make sure you get a nice cut on there and we're down here in the corner same thing Let's see, most of this should just come off nicely, just like that. Um, there we are. And then we just have this final piece in the corner, which is the most difficult. Simply put our wedge right there and then get our blade in between. And cut that. And then we have that. All right, so a lot of times we can just push that up in there. Smooth it out if we have any. Smooth those edges over. Any bubbles, just kind of push them down. Always going down. Okay. And this is pretty durable too. A piece right there. Okay. Right, we have a little bit here that didn't get it all the way, so we're just gonna go over that with a razor. Easy enough to cut that off. And maybe here also a little bit. Okay. So if you got a little bit not going away, so just tackle that with a razor. And I'm just going to slide the rest of that out of there just like that. So that's all there is to it, my friends. Easy peasy. So I want to thank you for watching this video. Um, we'll see you all next time. Have a great day out there, everybody.